In this video today, we're gonna look at the short straddle trade. Perfect when you think volatility is too high and you have a neutral outlook on price. Stay tuned. Hey traders, one well, welcome to you. So an options trade called the short straddle is where we believe that the price is going to stay exactly where it is at the same point of time in the future. Now, we couldn't net generally uh, express this opinion with stock. We couldn't buy stock and sell stock and have this wouldn't make any money. If we're short, we're not going to make it long to make money. However, with options, we can express this thesis, this idea, and literally we say, hey, we don't know which way, we don't want it to go up, we don't want it to go down, we want it to stay exactly where it is, but we think that really, in addition, the, the options are priced too high. So the higher the price of the option, the more money we're going to make from this. So the ideal perfect scenario for us would be something that's considered extremely volatile, really overpriced options, highly priced. And we think, you know what, this thing's gonna be exactly the same position in three months time as it is now. And so we would sell an at the money call and an at the money put to create a short straddle trade. Now the maximum profit we can make from this is really at the point we're selling this call and this put. However, that is capped but our losses are not capped. We have unlimited risk because we're selling options here. We're not protecting anywhere by buying them. So we've got to take it carefully. We have decent payout and we have a decent probability of a payout as well, but we also have a lot of downside, potential unlimited downside if things go wrong. Now, let's have a look at it. Let's look at some examples. Let's see how bad it could get and how good it will be if we're right, how we could adjust it and play with it, uh, et cetera. So, the short straddle is selling and at the money call and at the money put. So let's have an example again. Um, and if you see subscribe, you see this is a pretty common example for us. Stock XYZ is trading at 40 bucks. So we sell one $40 put for $200. So it's trading at $2 that put and we're selling it. We're using one options contract, which is 100 shares. So it's $200. We receive $200 for that because we're selling. So someone's buying it from us. We're taking the other side of that contract. So they're paying $200 for it. We receive that. That's income for us. That's a credit. And we do the same thing with the call. So we sell a one, we sell one, sorry, $40 call again for 200 bucks. We receive 200 bucks credit. Total credit, $400. So that's the most we can make because the best case scenario is that both of these expire worthless and we get the full $400 in credit. And that's the peak of this area here. So that's the max profit level here, $400. All right. So that's the position. What happens in various scenarios? So let's say we have a scenario now where, okay, let's just do the maths on it. We expire at $40. By the way, this could be any expiry. Some of the same expiry it doesn't matter. It could be way in the future. Or it could be very, very short term, like weekly. Obviously, the shorter it is or the nearer it is, the closer to the time you take the trade, uh, the, the cheaper the options are going to be. Um, but the further away, the more expensive they are because the more chance of something's going to happen. So you've got to make that decision yourself as a trader how you want to position. But anyway, so it's $40 at expiry, exactly where you want it to be. What's your profit going to be? Well, the call is a $40 call. It's going to expire worthless because the, the, the right to buy something at $40 at $40 is worthless. Yeah. Uh, and same with the put. The put, the right to sell something at $40 is worthless. That's great because you were short those. You've made the full 200 on the put, the full 200 on the call, $400 profit. Very nice. However, we know trades don't always work for us every time. So let's have a look and see what happened if we were went to 30 bucks. So in other words, this thing dropped down to 30 bucks. We were wrong on the deal. What happens? Well, we're okay on the call because the call expired worthless. So we get the full 200 on the call. But unfortunately, the put is now worth a thousand. The guy who's bought that has got the right to sell something at 40. It's currently trading at 30. That's got an intrinsic value of $10 times the one contract 100 shares. That's worth a thousand bucks. So we've unfortunately lost a thousand bucks on that. But don't forget, we only paid, we, we got 200 for it. So we're losing 800 on that, but we're getting 200 back also from the call that expired worthless. So we get that 200, we get that 200, we lost a thousand. Thousand minus the 400 is $600 loss. And you can see that's the same for the, uh, sorry, the $50 as well. It's just the other way around. This, in this case, the call is worth $1,000. The put is worthless. We've received 400 credit, so we're $600 down. But consider if we went even further, like if we went to 20 
eight or 10. You could see how that loss starts to increase as the put increases in value as you go, but the call doesn't offset it because the call is maxed out on your profit at zero. Uh, and it's the same the other way as well. So obviously the real danger is not necessarily going to zero because there's gonna be a cap loss on there. It can't go further than zero. It's gonna be pretty hefty compared to your profit from just sitting there. The real danger is this thing just rips off into the stratosphere for whatever reason, and this is going increasing 60, 70, 80, you know, to $100. All of a sudden, that $40 call is worth $6,000. You've got to pay for that even though you've got 400 credit, you lose $5,600 on the deal. That's a pretty hefty loss. But of course, that's very unlikely. So you've got to weigh up those odds. Uh, and that's the deal with options, guys. It's like a risk reward ratio. Sometimes it's skewed against you, but the probably success, the probability of success is very often on your side. So you're gonna win more times than not, but when you're wrong, uh, you can get hammered by it. So not necessarily this one, this one's a little bit different, I think with a short straddle. And also depending on how much you're paying for this, uh, the, the nature of this is the edge on this trade is that you perceive the volatility is overpriced. People are panicking too much perhaps, and you think that it's all gonna die down. A lot of people will trade this kind of thing over earnings. They think that earnings, or the, the general consensus earnings are gonna move the stock aggressively, and you don't think that's true, then this would be a deal that you take and think that after earnings, nothing happens, the volatility will be crushed, the price of these options will reduce massively, and you might not even have to wait to expiry. You might just have to wait until it uh, goes down to $100 each, in which case you make $200 credit, you close it, and it happens to be like a two days worth of trade. But of course, you're taking the risk over earnings. There's never any free lunch uh, in the markets for retail. So limited upside, unlimited risk, uh, something you've got to be cautious of, but that's a short straddle, something if you generally don't think the stock's gonna move and you perhaps also think that the volatility and the options are overpriced, so you can benefit from that crush as well. All right, guys, short straddle, take care, whatever you're up to, bye-bye.